Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. And today I wanna to talk about not putting all your eggs in one basket. And you know, when you're new, it's okay to have a single niche that you're really good at. And a lot of times when you come into starting a reselling business, you're gonna have one or two things that you're really good at. Maybe that's bicycles, maybe that's clothing. You know, like my good friend Vinny, that was toys, and then he really dove deep into that. But don't make the mistake of just being a one trick pony because all it takes is a couple competitors or a couple things in your local area, like maybe a thrift store closing down or an auction house closing down, or like I said, competitors that can really put a dent in your business. So your goal over time should, obviously step number one is make as much money as you can. Maybe you're gonna exploit a single niche like clothing and toys. But number two, you wanna make sure that you broaden your knowledge base over the upcoming months and years because that's gonna make you a better reseller. Having the ability to go into any thrift store in America, any auction, any flea market, any garage sale, and have a knowledge base that can allow you to make money. Now, I do wanna say I'm super excited before I get into this video that I literally just released the reseller sourcing handbook. So I mentioned this a couple weeks ago. Uh, I've been working ridiculously hard behind the scenes to launch this and it's now available. So you can check the first link down below in the description and this thing's pretty much uh, you know, as cheap as it's ever gonna get. So if you do get in now, you're gonna be locked in uh, for life at that price as long as you stay subscribed. It's 10 bucks a month. And right now I'm calling it you know, kind of like a beta program because I just launched it. So I'm trying to get as many people in as possible to get feedback, help as many people as possible. And it's a service that will teach you about five new items every single day that you could be on the lookout for. These are fully researched items. Instead of you spending one to two hours a day having to research, you can get a list of five items every single day emailed to you and a membership site where you can study it, um, you know, over time and go back and whatnot. And that's gonna share, you know, the sell-through rate, a picture, the average selling price. We're gonna share the title, some solds, a whole bunch of information. So if you wanna check that out, check the link down below. But I can't say it enough. When you first start, it's okay being a master of one or two niches. For me, I started with bicycles. And then since you know I live in Connecticut, it got cold out. I had to move on to something else, so I dove into clothing, and then I dove into books with Amazon. So it's okay to just be, you know, kind of like a ninja with a single niche or a niche, however you call it. Do you say niche or niche? But over time, you really want to learn about more and more items. And I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna recap. How do you learn about new items? Well, there's different ways they can do it. Uh, number one, studying the sold listings every single day, regardless of what you do, um, you know, study the sold listings for at least 30 minutes a day. The sweet spot when you first start is one to two hours a day because that's gonna put you in a position to never leave a thrift store, garage sale, auction, flea market without profits in your pockets. Because a lot of times, who can relate? When you're at a thrift store, you're moving quick. You don't have time to be sitting and looking up items for five, six, seven minutes because you know, there's a lot of low hanging fruit and you're trying to scoop it all up. So having that knowledge already as a prerequisite before you go in there, it's gonna make it that much easier to find stuff because a lot of times you get caught up looking something up and sometimes it's frustrating, sometimes it's time consuming and you might miss out on an opportunity. So studying the sold listings as much as you possibly can. Number two, when you're going out to thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, so on and so forth, and you start to see things that are interesting, what I used to do is I would have a notebook um, in my car and I would also open up a Google Doc on my phone and I would just, sometimes I would just mark a specific thing. Maybe I saw like a really cool like grandfather clock and I was like, you know, I don't have time to research this now. I wanna, I wanna get through the clothing rack because I'm a master at clothes. I know clothes, I know there's money to be made. But I'd put little notes in a Google Doc and then I would go and I would study these in the sold listings later on. So when you're out in the field, and you're coming across different things or another good tip is if you're at thrift stores and you know who your local competitors are, see what's in their shopping cart because that's where the money is, especially the seasoned resellers out there. They already know what works. They already know what sells well. So start to kind of get an idea of what people are putting in their cart. What are they shopping for? What are you, what are you seeing that's interesting? You know, when you're watching YouTube videos and whatnot, um, and you're starting to see sales, you wanna dive deeper and deeper and deeper into that niches. The niches are in the riches, and I can't say it enough. I've said it before, start with a single niche, master it, whatever you're good at when you first start. If you're really good at sports cards, or you're really good at toys, or you're really good at you know vintage items, 
then dive deep into that. But over time, you wanna consistently learn about new items. And that's why I created the Reseller Sourcing Handbook because I'm spending hours every single day researching these items. I've taken my knowledge from the last eight years. And for anyone out there who's a seasoned veteran, it takes a lot of time to kind of learn. I mean, you can watch YouTube videos all day long and you can see items in Facebook groups, but until you actually get your hands on an item or you actually look up that specific item and you start to study, you know, how long does it take to sell? How many are selling? Uh, what's the average sell through rate? What's the average selling price? When you start to take a look at listings and you see the keywords and you see the pictures for me, I'm more visual, but that's gonna make your business profitable long-term and lucrative regardless of what happens in the marketplace, learning as much as you can. I mean, there's been times in the past where I've learned about items and I've seen them. You know, one example is the brand Keaton, K-I-T-O-N. Look up that brand. I think I saw that brand one time in a YouTube video from my buddy Ronnie, and uh, it was probably like a year later, I came across it and sold an item for, it was like $160, a dress shirt. I love that Italian brand. But I can't tell you how many times I've researched things in the sold listings. I've seen them in somebody's shopping cart. A lot of times what I do is when I'm going through um, the eBay sold listings that I'm studying, I'll find a really nice, listing that has like great keywords, an awesome picture, it's sold for a good of money, and I'll find out who the seller is, I'll go into their store, and then I'll study their sold listings. I mean, this is a rabbit hole that just, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper, and that's the best thing about reselling and selling on eBay, selling on Amazon, Macari, Etsy. There's millions and millions of people that are shopping online, more and more people are shopping online, and there's millions of products out there. I don't care how many competitors there are, I don't care how smart the people in the back of the thrift stores get, I don't care about the advancements of technology and how easy it is for the average person to look items up and see what they sold for on eBay. The profits are in the, the, the items that fall through the cracks, and I can't say it enough, the more knowledge you have, the more times you go out sourcing, right? things are gonna fall through the cracks and there's gonna be opportunities there for you to make money. But a lot of times people aren't able to capitalize on the opportunities because they never took the time to like build the confidence in a specific category or in a specific niche. And the more you study, the more you get acquainted with items, the more you, you know, the costly way of doing it are buying items even though you haven't researched it fully and then losing money on it or making money on it because that's trial and error. You'll never... There's no course, there's no ebook, there's nothing that could ever, you know, be more beneficial than actual trial and error and actually losing money on an item. But that's costly. It costs you time, it costs you money. So I'm trying to teach you ways around it because for me, you know, I'm still learning about new items all the time. But even eight years later, there's so much opportunity, there's so many categories and so many niches that I'm trying to learn about. And that's why, you know, I'm always studying. And that's why I love making these videos. And that's why I love networking on YouTube and in Facebook groups and everything. Because the more we help each other, the more we share, the more money we can make. Because we can't all be at the same thrift store at the same time. We can't all be at that auction. We can't all be at the big flea market that's going down, right? So there's so many opportunities out there. So hopefully this is able to serve you a little bit. Um, again, guys, check out the Reseller Sourcing Handbook. I put a ton of time in. Every single day, you're gonna get five brand new, fully researched items with a ton of data to back it up. There's gonna be visuals. There's gonna be tons of information. There's gonna be real life stats. And instead of you having to spend 20, 30, 40 minutes, an hour, two hours every day, you're gonna emailed these five items every single day. There's a membership site. These are all fresh items. Uh, we're going to consistently update this list. And, you know, if you're subscribed for a year, every day, 365 days, you're going to get a new item. So I've been busting my butt, putting my life work into this, and uh, I'm super proud of it. And I'm super excited. So if you want to get involved right now, if you want to get locked in, then definitely check it out. There's no contract. There's no, you know, commitments. It's month to month. If you don't like it after a month, you can get your money back. Uh, there's a 30 day money back. Uh, guarantee there's no commitment you know if you want to stay subscribed for five months and then you don't want to be part of it anymore you get your money back so this isn't like a big you know uh this isn't something that i'm trying to build a huge business off of it's try it's a way that i'm trying to give back it's a way that i'm trying to add value it's a way that i'm trying to bring the community together and hopefully it's able to help help a lot of you guys and gals out there so check it out link in the description get out there keep learning and keep on picking and making that money bye